Hi Leo, Aditi here with Lodestone Productions where we help you discover your true north. So this is going to be the general thread for February. Oh, I forgot to put it in the other video. Okay, so spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum, which means that the only time by which we tell time is divine time. Dig what I'm saying? Okay, so here are your overall energies. This is past, present, and future here. Here are the clarifiers for each as well as final messages and or a summary from spirit depending on how they're feeling. Okay, so let's get started. So overall energy is Ulukua. Vahini. I do not know if I'm saying her name right. However, comma. Lukua Vahini. She who writes the owl brings justice. I am the goddess of karma, wealth, and balance. I come to correct adharma, which is dark and unnatural and against nature, live love and goodness. I redress the misuse of wealth and power. I enact divine justice and restore divine order. Trust in the innocence of your own soul and fear not, for I am ever watchful. My power brings truth. Divine justice is always brought to bear. Okay. Hmm. So past energy is the Knight of Cups. Current energy is the nine of wands, future energy is the knight of pentacles. One moment. All right, thanks. So we've got the knight of cups, the nine of wands, and the knight of pentacles. So You're growing, you're learning how to, and you've reached a new plateau on how to manage your emotions and also how to manage your physical world around you. I don't see this as resources this time, but basically what I see is you finding new ways to interact with this user interface we call life, right? And with the nine of wands here, it's been a lot of work. It's been a long, hard road to hoe, right? So here we go with the Knight of Cups. You see he's charging in and he's found the pot at the end of the rainbow. And he knows that, you know, with a treasure like this, that it's there's you're going to be met with opposition. Yet their eyes are focused their focus is is on this particular prize and with the nine of wands there's you know there's a struggle there's the burden like it's it's taken a while and taken a lot of you taken a lot of hits to get here right and now you're taking those those lessons that you've learned and you are applying them in real life also with this new level that you've reached. So clarifying the Knight of Cups, we have the Sun, the Three of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. So 
so this is this is giving you I mean you've reached this and you're really happy that you've reached this level like it's it's really time to celebrate like you come a long way right and the sun card is like yes you can you can breathe for a moment because now it is time for you to take a different approach to get your blessings because your blessings are right here right and we're talking long term with that ten of cups so with the nine of wands it's clarified by the nine of swords the ace of swords and the seven of cups yes this was hard work you had to use a lot of brain power a lot of brain power to get to this place you know not only was it physically taxing but it was it was taxing on your brain too and you know this with the ace of swords like you know that's the god honest truth there are a lot of ways that you could have gone there are a lot of paths that you could have taken a lot of decisions that you could have taken that would have completely thrown you off of your course but you have managed to persevere and so now with this Knight of Pentacles, you've got the Two of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, and the World. Again, tying into this Nine of Wands here. Right? You understand that you're in the night phases of this and that there are there's more to learn where this came from, right? But you're finally getting to the place where you can give and take. You can, you can, yeah, you can, you can balance. It's not just about getting and keeping and hoarding, but it's also about charity. It's about spending wisely. It's about giving back, you know, because this, this level that you were at previously, this pre Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles level is now done you aren't there anymore you're not doing that anymore you see because spirit has spirit has more for you to do this was this was just the first this was just the first step i'm hearing now that training's done we can start the real work and then we have the seven of pentacles the Three of Wands, the Five of Wands, and the Five of Swords. So you're still in conflict about this. You're still in conflict about this. You're still wanting to solidify how these things are going to like work out, how they're going to play out. Like I'm hearing, yeah, it's talking a good game, but, right? Because with the Seven of Pentacles... You feel like the work that you've done has gone largely unrecognized, but it has been recognized with the three of swords. Like I'm, I'm seeing people are seeing what's happening, what you're doing and how you're, how you're managing this. And for you with the five of wands, it just feels like you're getting beat up on all sides. Well, you're going through training, you know. And like with the five of swords, it's kind of like, I'm going to win no matter what. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Like it's, you, you've got, you've got that whole mentality happening for you. So yes, it's nice to have that winning attitude, but remember that you are still in this night energy and nights are, if nothing else, very young. Okay. Yes, they've gone through some things, but there's there's way more left to do. You know, it just, like I said, the training period is done, and now it's time. And now it's time for the real work. <sighs> so. Leo, thank you for spending some time with me today. Um, and until we meet again, remember to be good to yourselves and to each other. And I will see you all next time. Bye now.